This story is my red balloon. It was written by Eve Bunting. It says so on the front, it says so on the spine. Because it's a library book, I see the letter that starts bunting at the bottom. What letter do you see at the bottom for bunting? I see a B. On the back, it talks about the publisher. It's got that little code that allows the librarian to scan it for me, or if I were to go to the store. I'm at school, so I don't take my mask off at school to read you stories, but stories online. I'm going to say a little bit louder so you can hear, and you can see my lips as I read. Our title page um, has a red balloon, and the red balloon says, Welcome Home. So I wonder who this character is welcoming home. Do you have an idea? The dedication says for my daddy who came home from a different war, Eve Bunting, and dedicated to the men and women who serve and the families who wait, special thanks to Sammy and Vijay Kamani and family, Luana and family, and the Virginian pilot news photographer, Martin Smith Roden, and that's from um, K Life. She's the illustrator. So that tells us a little bit more about that welcome home balloon that we see here again. The first thing I see when mom wakes me is the red balloon that shaped like a heart. On it is printed, welcome home. It's waiting. Mom and I have been waiting too, but today is the day. I jump out of bed and I dress. I bring my red balloon downstairs and I twist the string around the arm of my chair. It floats above the table, welcome home. Mom is dressed real pretty and so am I. Even my Spider-Man underpants are new. Mom pours cereal, but we don't eat much. Will Daddy be happy to come home, I ask? Very happy, but he had a job to do, I say. Being on his ship, making sure our country stays safe. I know this because I've asked that before. That's right, Bobby. Mom kneels to tie my tennies. We see the crowds in the jammed up parking lot before we get to the pier where the big ship will come in. Lots of daddies and mommies are coming home today, Mom says happily. There sure are lots of people jostling around. Big people, little people, even babies and strollers are tucked in those little sling things that hang from their mommy's shoulders. The band's playing real loud. You can tell by this picture that this wasn't taken today. Um, Eve and her friend wrote this story a little while ago. Can you see it yet? Someone asks a tall, tall man. Not yet, he says. Your son's coming home, someone asks. My daughter. The man smiles a huge smile that flashes from underneath his mustache. My daddy's coming, I tell him. And I look up at my red balloon and I jerk it so it bows. It's high above everyone, even the tall, tall man. After we meet him, my daddy always puts me up on his shoulders. And if I were on his shoulders now, my red balloon would touch the clouds. The girl next to me tries to hold my balloon string too, but I say, don't touch. This is for my daddy. She's bigger than I am. I move to my mom's other side, just in case. My red balloon is very important. Mom wrote to daddy and told him I'd be carrying a red balloon today, and I move it fast, so it jumps and it bounces. Suddenly, there's an enormous cheer. There it is, a man shouts, and I cheer too, so loud. It feels like my ears are going to burst, and a big gray ship with the flat deck where airplanes can land and take off is coming. I can see the sharp-nosed planes and the tiny figures of the sailors lined up along the railing. The band's playing extra loud now, and I know the song. It's one of Daddy's Anchors Away, which is okay, even though the song's about a ship going out, not coming in. And we're all singing and clapping in time, and a woman who looks like my grandma is giving out flowers from a humongous bunch she carries. But she's too far away from us, so I guess we won't get one. There are banners everywhere. One says, we're glad you're back. Another says, we missed you. I see other balloons and none of them look like mine. I tug at mom's arm. Are you sure you told daddy that my balloon is red and it's shaped like a heart? She smiles down at me, I did. She ties the string tighter around my wrist. Whew, I mutter. Ever since mom told me it was time for daddy to come home again, I've been worried. What if this time he doesn't recognize me? I think I'm a lot bigger. But now I have my red balloon shaped like a heart and it'll be real easy to find. The ship is gliding to a stop at the pier. Its deck is so far above us that it's looking like a tall building. I can't tell which sailor is my daddy. From here, they're all looking the same. 
all around me. People are jumping around, kissing and hugging. I hope no one hugs me except my mom. She's tied the string too tight and it's hurting my wrist. So I poke my finger under the loop to make it bigger and it comes all the way loose. It's slipping out of my hand and before I know what ha what's happening, it floats away. I watch it go up and up and I try to shout, but it doesn't come out right. Mom, help, I weigh out my balloon. My heart's punching inside of me. Mom looks up, oh no, she says. She jumps to try to catch the string, but it's already too high and the tall, tall man sees it and he jumps too. He jumps another time and then he says, sadly, I'm sorry, kiddo, I'm afraid it's gone. We stand there, shading our eyes from the sun, watching my balloon that's shaped like a heart dancing happily against the sky. It's long, skinny string swaying beneath it. My eyes are stinging. Mom scooches down beside me and suddenly I'm crying. Daddy won't know me, I whisper, and Mom says, what do you mean? He'll always know you. And then a woman shouts, little boy, little boy, look, look at your balloon. I lift my head. My red balloon that's shaped like a heart has sailed across the ship and it's floating just to where the sailors are standing. See, Mom says, I stop sniffling. <laughs> and then I see my daddy. He's four from the end. Daddy, daddy, I yell. And now all the men and women are rushing down from the ship, cramming, crunching into the crowd. And my daddy is beside us, kissing mom, lifting me, holding me tight. And he's tall, taller than anyone. Did you see my red balloon that's shaped like a heart, I ask? Yes, he says. I knew it was yours. And then I looked down here and I saw you. You did? He's given me the best daddy squeeze. I put my mouth close to his ear. Welcome home, Daddy. Welcome home. And that's the story of my red balloon.